Ok, Assalamualaikum semua Saya Cikgu Fizik daripada physics4spm.com Ok, so saya hari ini nak share I want to share with you guys eh, How the tips how to answer paper 3 section B questions uh, Is a question about how to design an experiment Usually you are given with two diagrams eh, In exam, for example uh, Dekat depan ni, so you tengok ada dua diagram So, the first tip is uh, Look at the differences in the both in both diagrams eh find the differences apa perbezaan yang you boleh dapat daripada kedua-dua diagram tersebut okay so you kena careful because this experiment eh, you kena keluarkan inference dan hypothesis yang betul kalau you keluarkan inference dan hypothesis yang salah maka you ada tendency untuk hilang hampir ke semua markah Alright, so macam mana nak keluarkan inference dan hypothesis yang betul Maka cari perbezaan dalam kedua-dua diagram Kalau kita tengok dalam dua-dua uh, diagram A and B ni Kita boleh nampak ada perbezaan dari segi dekat bulb ini eh. Dekat bulb ni kita nampak perbezaan dari segi kecerahan Ataupun kita boleh kata perbezaan dari segi brightness eh. Okay, so and then uh, what else can be uh, uh, What what other differences can be seen in this diagram? So kita tengok another differences uh, about the length of wire. Eh, kita tengok length of wire ni ada difference. So, keluarkan kedua-dua kuantiti ni. So apabila you berjaya mengeluarkan kedua-dua kuantiti ni, maka kita akan relate kedua-dua kuantiti ni dalam inference baik dalam hypothesis dalam aim dan seterusnya dalam variables. Okay. So now macam mana kita nak keluarkan inference maka kita kata uh, we can say that the inference uh, from the inference kita kata ok sebelum kita keluarkan inference dia maka brightness ni kalau dalam bulb ni sebab kalau kita tengok point number C kat bawah ni dia kata dia suruh guna apparatus such as emitter and constant wire maka dalam eksperimen tersebut bila kita nak design eksperimen kita dah tak pakai bulb lagi dalam eksperimen tu maka kita kena pakai constant wire maka kita kaitkan brightness of the bulb ni actually with the amount of current so ok dalam inference maka kita boleh kata the brightness of the bulb depends depends on length of wire ok kita boleh jawab inference macam ni eh? brightness of the bulb depends on the length of wire ok so now bila hypothesis maka saya galakkan instead of guna brightness saya galakkan kita guna kuantiti uh, yang kita boleh measure because kita akan refer uh, dalam eksperimen benda yang boleh diukur maknanya benda-benda yang kuantiti uh, yang ada unit eh? uh, brightness tak ada unit Eh, macam mana kita nak bagi unit brightness apa kecerahan dia eh, unit dia berapa 10 10 apa 10 bright bright. so kita instead of kita guna uh, brightness kita guna current because current can be measured unit dia ampere so can be measured using ammeter so kita tulis hypothesis dia uh, the longer the wire for example kita kata the longer the wire the lower the current Maka kita boleh jawab begini sebab kecerahan bulb itu depends on amount of current it received. So uh, this is how you extract the hypothesis. Okay. So now uh, that's why it's crucial eh, to take out the right hypothesis and the right inference because in the hypothesis itself kita boleh keluarkan aim dia. Maka kita akan relate antara length of wire and amount of current. Uh, daripada situ kita boleh kaitkan pula dengan variablesnya. Eh. Manipulated variables will be length of wire. And the responding variables instead of saying brightness, kita akan kata, kata brightness. Uh, kita akan kata responding variable dia adalah amount of current. So dan fixed variable dia will be the maybe diameter of the wire, eh, uh, type of wire. Eh. So uh, this is experiment about factors affecting resistance. Eh. Uh, so Uh, this is uh, one of the important topic in electricity uh, in the aspect of paper 3 eh? so make sure you cover uh, the factors of affecting resistance uh, all the experiment uh, there are other factors such as uh, uh, thickness and so on so uh, I think that's it uh, for this discussion Okay, uh, about how to extract hypothesis and inference the right hypothesis and inference in designing experiment Okay, so uh, kalau, uh, if any one of you interested to join my online class, you can uh, visit my website www.physics4spm.com or you can call me at 010-252-1277. So, uh, if you need to ask anything or SMS about regarding my online class, you can call this number 010-252-1277. Until then now, bye-bye.